Oh, I don't feel like doing this anymore, guys. <laughs> uh, Alright, so I have more peppers that were sent to me by, uh, by Ken. Ken, thank you, I guess, for uh, <laughs> sending me these, like, brutally hot chili peppers that are just, like, the hottest things I have ever even heard about. Not today, but coming soon, uh, spoiler alert, he has one that's like hotter than a Carolina Reaper that he gave me. This one might be also hotter than a Reaper. I forget what a, what a Reaper is. I think it's like around 2 million. This one is the Kraken Scorpion Chocolate. And it's between 2.2 and 2.5 million Scoville units. Ugh. Why? Ken says this one is extremely hot and it has the bitter flavor associated with chocolate slash purple peppers as well as a floral flavor that you would get from a scorpion. So this is like some sort of horrible mad scientist creation of a scorpion pepper. Great. I'm not in the mood for the horns beeping. Um, yeah, so this is going to suck, but it's not the hottest one that he sent me, at least. Oh, God. Ken also would like everyone to know that if you, if you are interested in torturing yourself and if you'd like to get either the peppers, the seeds, or a hot sauce made from very hot peppers like this, you can contact him at his email address, which I put in the description below. Uh, and seriously, Ken, thank you for sending me this stuff. This is a very rare opportunity. I know that I am torturing myself, but it is at least uh, for science and uh, all that. Uh, I'm going to introduce this now because I have a feeling this is going to be brutally hot. My cat is taking a crap, by the way, so uh, hold that thought for a second. Okay. Cat is done pooping, and uh, now she's like running around like a little nut. So you might hear a pitter patter of feet while I'm um, suffering, and um, I will get the fantastic sensation of poop in the air. For the fire extinguisher today, I'm going to be using a store brand cream cheese because uh, I have it in my fridge, and you know why not? Maybe it'll be effective because it is like a more fattening uh, milk and fat, you know, helps with the, with the spice, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. I have just the teeniest, tiniest slice of this pepper because this thing is, you know, beyond anything that I've had so far, so, um, uh, I haven't even chewed it yet. It's burning my tongue. Um, it is bitter. And it has the um, apricot flavor that like a ghost pepper would have. Ken said it would have a bit of a floral taste. Not really getting a floral taste. I am getting the bitterness that he mentioned, though. Okay, I'm biting it now. <laughs> I just had, like, the tiniest little bit of that. And it feels like, you know, hotter ones that I've had with a larger piece. But the heat that it's giving me is like a mouth heat. So it's like burning my tongue mostly and my lips. Yeah, licking your lips while you eat this thing is a bad idea. Dare I say, I'm gonna actually have a little bit more of it because um, I feel like my piece was very, very tiny. Feeling a little bit more bold. <laughs> it's 
It's got a little bit of a sweetness to it. It's got a little bit of a, a cherry flavor. Little cherry, little bitter, little peach. It's actually really tasty. It's, a, it's very hot. It's like burning the hell out of my mouth right now. But it's not an unpleasant hot like the last one I had just made me feel sick to my stomach instantly. I don't really mind it so much if I eat a pepper that's like attacking your mouth. It's like I could deal with that kind of pain. But when it's like internal pain, that's like scary to me. I don't like that stuff. <clears throat> so this one is, um, yeah, I like it. This is something I would use. Ridiculously hot, but something I would use. I would, however, not put this up as high as the hottest pepper ever that I've had. I mean, I think I've made a 10 on this list. This one, as far as everything that I've had, I would put this as a 9. I've had hotter ones. Um, with the amount that I've had, I've had hotter ones. If you were to bite into this whole thing, um, it would ruin your week. You know, it would be very, very tough. Um, but just having a little slice that I did, which is usually how much that I have, um, it gives me a pretty decent assessment on that heat. That heat, very high, but it's like targeted. <clears throat> okay. I'm gonna go for uh, some of my cream cheese here. We got some on a spoon. Um, yeah, that helps. I don't think it's as effective as milk though, and it's kind of gross just eating like a blob of sour of um, cream cheese. The one benefit the cream cheese is it doesn't dissipate as quickly as milk. It's like a slow dissolve of the heat rather than a quick stop the way that milk does. Once that cream cheese is gone, you know what happens. It just like pff, hits you again. Uh, I'm gonna try some milk. Cream cheese has its benefit, but yeah, I think milk is probably uh, is definitely a winner. It just gives you a more like quick flush of getting rid of the heat. With uh, cream cheese, it's like a slow dissolve of that heat. So it helps. What if I do both? This is so gross. It's better to have both. <laughs> Maybe that's the true secret on how to kill spice. Is you just take like everything. Have a whole spread in front of you of like heat killers. So go for your spoonful of sugar, your rice pudding, your ice cream, your yogurt. <clears throat> your milk, your water, your beer, like sugary cereal, all of it. Just take all of that stuff and have it like a little thing out in front of you. Or mix it all together. Make a big bowl full of that slurry and just have a nice spoonful of it. Maybe that's what you need. Um, but for me, milk seems to be the easiest and most effective uh, heat killer. I think the only thing better that I've had has been rice pudding. Maybe sour cream also. Uh, so I think that's about it. Thanks for watching everybody and uh, thank you Ken again for sending me the stuff. Again, check out his email address if you want to purchase some peppers or seeds or hot sauces or anything like that. <sighs> okay, see you next time guys. Bye-bye. I want to give a special shout out to AltPod and Smarter Every Day. They are mega patrons over on Patreon.com. Patreon is how this channel happens, it's how I can afford to do all the things that I do. So if you want to help me out by supporting the channel and getting some bonuses along the way, check out the description. I also have these shirts for sale, those are in the description as well. See you next time. Bye.